Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim, it's Tuesday evening, and we are here with the Jackbox Party Pack 2. Now why, oh why, would I be playing such an old game right now, you ask yourself? We have plenty of other things to do on this Interactive Tuesday that we do together. Well, my friends, as it turns out, next week is the premiere of the Jackbox Party Pack 3. So what better way, wait, what? Camera still has a delay? Oh, god damn it. That should be better. Uh, welcome, Meatloaf. Thank you so much for the follow, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, tell me if the, the sync is a little bit better. But anyway, um, so, the... Oh, um, if somebody else would answer that question for him, please. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, we're gonna be playing Fibbage 2 tonight, and, um, probably Quiplash XL as well. But I feel like the one that, uh, we have criminally ignored is not actually in Jackbox Party Pack 2, so I am going to break protocol a little bit at the end of the night. So that way we can play uh, Drawful 2 together. Because Drawful 2 is probably my favorite one that they put out so far. I do like to doodle, after all. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I was talking about a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Um, I was notified earlier today about an upcoming game that I would like your help in supporting. I normally never, ever, 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 ever do this. This is the first time and probably only time I will ever shill for somebody else's material outside of outside of uh, them paying me to do so. Do you guys remember Contradiction? I know you do. It was one of my favorites. Well, there is another guy who is um, there is another guy who is making another FMV game, and John G uh, John Gilor, the guy who played uh, the leader of Atlas in that game, is also in it, and it's called Doctor Decker. Dr. Decker, uh, the something, something, something of Dr. Decker. Of course it is. And of course, I don't have it in front of me. But, I want to show you the trailer. And I want to talk about it for a minute, because it's kind of interesting. And as soon as we get done with that, we'll get to the fibbage, and there will be no more further a bother. But, um, enjoy this. Dr. Decker was murdered. Dr. Decker thought one of his patients was trying to kill him. I'd heard Dr. Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? All Dr. Decker did was encourage me to think. Do you think I killed my parents? Why? Because I stabbed my husband? Decker was a dangerous person. I'm not a murderer. It's just me. I'm going crazy. I stabbed him with a steak knife. It's our secret. Once you see the truth, it's hard not to spread chaos yourself. I'm a shape-shifting vampire werewolf. I didn't have any legs. Thing that's following me. It doesn't have a face. He started talking like your patient's ailments are real. I prefer actions over words, Doctor. You know that. Dr. Decker killed it! No! It's hungry. You have no comprehension how important your job is, do you? What are you trying to do most? Cure his patients or find out who killed him? I spied on you, Doctor. You have a strangeness, don't you? It's just a game, Doctor. I like playing games. And so there we have that. Now, um, Kissy, I would like for you to go ahead and put that link again in the chat. Please, please, I am begging you. Please go vote for this game on Steam Greenlight. I must have this game in my life. I literally must have it in my life, and we will play it right here on the stream. Not only that, if it does actually come out, when we do play it, I actually got the developers and John Gilor to come back for another interview. So yeah, let's go ahead and make that a thing, shall we? Tell all of your friends. Tell all of your friends, Dr. Decker must come here and be with am with amongst us. So yeah. Anyway, now that all of that is said and done, thank you so much for uh, for allowing me to to shill to you a little bit. Like I said, never, ever, ever have I done that before, and never, ever, ever will I do it again. It's just something that I kind of believe in, and I think these guys need all the love that they get. You know what I mean? So anyway, yes, it is time for Favage 2. No more further a bother. Let's get all that out of the way. Our first room code, everybody, is GZKR. 
GZKR. And of course, wait, um, I think I want to use that sound for my sound effect. I, uh, you know, Dan, you know, Dan, not gonna lie to you. That would be super fucking great. If somehow my relationship with them developed to the point where I could actually travel over there and be in one of their games, that would be awesome. But, um, you know, we shall see. Maybe one day. And what? Um, what do you mean house rules? I don't understand. Also, for those who uh, may be unfamiliar with kind of how we do things here, once you've had a turn, please allow other people to rotate in. That would be great. And... We still have a free slot. Is there anyone else who would like to join us? I invite you all to come on inside. We have me. We have the Time Lord. We have the No Inn in Limo. Kind of like Nemo, but less cool of a name. Uh, then we have Dan, of course, Misty Knight, Woodrow, Misty Knight, Jesus Christ, Misty Knight, and uh, Meatloaf. There, uh, you know. You know, Zach, uh, not, there aren't really any jokes that are banned. Just, yeah, don't be super offensive for the sake of being offensive. Now, if it's really funny, by all means, please be offensive. If it's really funny. Other than that, eh. Hi, I'm Cookie Man. Is it really worth it? And welcome to That's what I posit to you. Like, it's okay to be perfectly offensive. Like cribbage, Is it really worth it? And cabbage. Also, hello, Cookie. I haven't heard wow, your voice since the last time Blake and I were tortured by it. God, it feels it, it, it feels so I mean, great to be playing resorts, games with friends again. And on top of all of that, to be playing You Don't Know Jack with Blake. Can play along for their own personal scores, yes, I am getting my ass kicked every time so far that that has aired. But um, I don't really care. It's like bowling. I am terrible at it, but I have so much fun playing it that I don't I don't care at all. Points for At everyone all. you fool with your made up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And you've got a helper. The you do, Time Lord. You know, honestly, I didn't realize that that was actually you. you. I kind of thought that so you were making fun of me. Alright, pick a category. Do, 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 do. Alright, Misty Knight, use your one good hand to pick us a category, okay, please. Here's your first question. People who live in Ecuador have an unusual good luck charm. They feel that for good luck, it's very important to have um, blank at all times. I think I'm going to now, go with to enter a, bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's a true, lie that is going to be stuck. pretty good. For half the points, you can use the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it now. <laughs> no! 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 Always proofread your work. Ah! I'm the worst. I am the worst. Hurry! Hit the lie for me, but you may you may say that, Time Lord, but you are not the only one here. So here's what we have. Um, find the truth amongst these answers. Is it a horseshoe? Is it a miniature? Ec Miniature equator. Just basically a belt at that point. Is it shrunk testicles? Is it a cabbage? Is it a hare's feet? Is it a sack of toenail clippings? Ew. Are they loonies, a toonie, or is it a goat penis? Um, you know, you know, I think it might actually be the ram's horn, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. I think it might actually be the ram's horn. Uh, by the way, that should have been shrunken testicles, not shrunk. Yes, 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 Queen. That was, in fact, my lie. But, Sack of Toenails was Limo's lie, and Limo got a couple of uh, points out of that one. A Cabbage was Time Lord's lie, and they get a thousand points. Good job. Shrunk Testicles still ended up getting 500 points. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know, right? Honey, I shrunk my own points. Is it the Ram's Horn? No, that's Dan's lie. Aw. Is it a $2 bill? No. Wow. Wow. Really? Ecuador uses US currency and having a rare $2 bill Interesting. is good luck. And now you Well, congratulations to those of you who got the truth. I learned and something today. Nobody else's lives got picked. Hey Milt, welcome. 
Uh, oh, and by the way, for those who were not lucky enough to get into our first round of questions here, by all means, feel free to join in the audience by going to TV on your phone or your browser or any other device that you really want to uh, try and play with other than like a stone tablet. A it takes way too long. The delay is way too high. I'm going to choose that category and um, put in the room code down there at the bottom. GZ KR. Tyra Banks once boldly admitted on her talk show that she suffers from a fear of blank. So, Type in your Tyra Banks now. suffers from a fear of high heels, high fashion. Is she afraid of tiny miniature chihuahuas wearing oversized tiger suits? That would be something to be afraid of. You would certainly unexpect it. Two more people have to enter in their lives. Go ahead, hit that live for me button. You can have the game live for you. There's no excuse okay, for you not to get something in. The truth? Is it heights, clowns, banks, shaving cream, intimacy, her reflection, walking in a straight line, geese, dolphins, or you can use the defibrillator if you're actually playing right now to get rid of two of the choices. Cut my choices down to two. Uh, I think we're gonna go with that one. I don't know. There's a couple of things that it could be that are legitimate answers. You know, I mean, everybody's afraid of fucking okay, clowns. So does that really count? But I think it'll be really funny. Does she have a fear of intimacy? No, but that is Misty Knight's really fantastic lie. That is so fucking funny. Does Tyra Banks have a fear of banks? No, nope. I just gave points to Woodrow. You're welcome, my friend. That was a good lie. Is it walking in a straight line? No, once again, K, K gives me points. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Is it geese? Wow, wow, Dan. Way to be the one person with a suggestion that gets picked a lot. And Dan, of course, picks Time Lord's lie. Wow, I could have sworn that, that one would have been the truth just based on the way the music was building. Nope, in fact, the truth is Which that she is afraid of dolphins. Why a dolphin has never won America's next top model. As well she should be. As everybody soul. knows, dolphins can't really speak English, so they don't know that ah it means ah. It's never a pretty sight. So let's see. Those are your points, my friends. Those are your leaders. I hope you're proud of yourself, Time Lord. You're doing fantastic. You are doing fantastic. Man, freaking dancing. Okay, here's the question. Christopher Walken is our next category. Before becoming a huge star, spent his teenage years traveling the what did he do? A blank. What did he do? You put your lies now. Um, I think you can remove the up there, Milt, and you are pretty much correct. <laughs> As a man. Who went around shoving the watch square in his ass? Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. And his watch. If it's so far. I love Christopher Walken when he goes into his serious okay, voice. Okay, where's the truth? So now, was he a mime? Was he a bard? Was he a lion tamer? Was he an Elvis impersonator? Uh huh. Was he a minor league outfielder? Was he an encyclopedia salesman? A show salesman? God fucking cunting damn it. Swear jar. Rody, was he Walker, Texas Ranger? Oh, that's a good answer. That one's definitely getting a couple of likes on that one. But no, unfortunately, I should have put shoe salesman and instead right, uh, I did it again. Picked. I did it again. I fucking did it again. Wow, Meatloaf. Wow, no job on that one. Wow. Way to rack up the points with the Elvis impersonator. Misty Knight somehow picked show salesman. Thank you. Thank you, whoever you are. Misty Knight. Was it encyclopedia salesman? Holy hot shit. Good Never luck, mind. Well Never mind. Fuck you, Misty Knight. Well, Why done. you gotta go around stealing all the points and shit? What the fuck? Yet that's one of the more normal things <laughs> about Christopher <laughs> Walken. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Wow. He was a lion tamer. Holy crap. I gotta admit, Misty, 
That was a great lie. And Meatloaf suddenly springs to the front of the class. Well done, sir. In round two, the point values are doubled. As you can see by the number of colors that are on my friend the chameleon there. Use it in round two or lose it. Oh, look, we actually have somebody in the audience now. Yay, Kisty! And loneliness is our category, okay, something that I think we all know pretty well. Eager really. Turn that frown Aren't we all just a little down, bit lonely? The Happy Guest Hotel Lodge in Cheshire, UK rents blank to lonely hotel guests. Um, your theater now. masks. The, specifically, the smiling theater mask. I know exactly what my lie is going to be, and I'm pretty sure that every single one of you are going to try and enter the exact same lie, you dirty stealing thieves. Don't you dare steal my answer. My answer is my answer, my answer alone. Meow. Hurry up. Use a suggestion <laughs> if you can't think of anything. One more lie. Two more lies need to be entered. Who doesn't have it? Yeah, Kisty. Renting sex dolls would probably be a very um, okay, gushy go. profit Find point. The truth. Do they rent hookers? Do they rent cats? Do they rent ghosts? How about teenage girls' diaries? A little bit of nice reading for you. Is it the yearbooks or dogs or anime body pillows? Or goldfish or a fully stocked mini fridge? Hmm. God. I want to go with that one. Because it seems like the best answer. Right, who picked what? I don't know. Is it cats? That was my lie. Thank you guys. Nice I appreciate lie. it. Is it dogs? If it's not cats, surely it must be a Misty Knight's lie. Good job, Misty. Another thousand points for you. Another two thousand. Two thousand. Excuse me. And in fact, the truth is, they rent goldfish no out to people. Any of these other How the lies. fuck about that? So I got 3,000 and 2,000 points there, catapulting me straight up to the top. Yeah, motherfucker. Now that's how you that's how you play the game right there. One round, one round, worst to first. One round, worst to first. That's what's up. So, Woodrow, what will you choose, my friend? Uh, Milt, they rent goldfish because they don't they don't want to care if people kill it. Like if if you accidentally kill a cat, somebody's gonna have to give a shit about that cat. If you kill a goldfish, guess what? It goes in the toilet and becomes a giant goldfish that's down in the sewer. Right, your Because it probably wasn't dead. But regardless, much less maintenance, especially on the upkeep in between rental sessions. So it makes a lot more fiscal sense to rent out goldfish than any other animal. I mean, it's weird. Don't get me wrong. It's still fucking weird, but, you know, it is. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Oh, you're one of those people with a black thumb, Meatloaf? I completely understand. Oh, we had two people in the audience for one glorious second. Okay, and it sounds there. like Time Lord forgot to, 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 you know, check their answer. So what do we have here? Would rather spend, would rather cut themselves than spend 15 minutes alone with their thoughts. Would rather commit suicide. Would rather masturbate. You dirty motherfuckers. Would they rather spend 15 minutes with a clown? No, that might as well be killing myself at that point. Would rather clean. Would rather get lynched in the basement. Would rather watch football, get shocked, or sit on a tank. Then spend 15 minutes alone with your own dirty, dirty okay, thoughts. Let's take a look. So what's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Is it masturbate? Nope. That's my lie again. Thank you. I appreciate your 2,000 points. Your deposit into my bank. Oh, and it's also Dan. Wow, Damn you, Dan. A mind melt there. Good job. Our our answers mixed together. Blech. In a little in a little lie slurry. <laughs> that one was actually fun. <laughs> and we're done. And of course the right answer. We all got. Excellent. So, my point values remain nice and on top. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. 
I would say that I feel bad. I would say that I feel bad about that, but guess what? I don't. I don't. I don't even a little bit. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite Coen part. Brothers film, a serious man, includes the odd notice that no blink hmm. were harmed in the making of this motion picture. Enter your lies now. So what kind of warning goes on it? Queen, if there's anything you'll learn about me, I'll go down voluntarily. Yeah. <laughs> Just take this last round and you don't know Jack. If you count all the wrong answers that I had in that Jack attack round, there can only be the answer that I fucked myself, which I totally did. All right. So, what is the truth? according to a serious man, no what's were harmed. No diplomats, no critics, no clowns, no Jews, no Nazis, no fruits, no cameramen, no pants, or no serious men were harmed in the making of this film. So, what's it gonna be? I picked my answer, but I kind of like no Jews and no Nazis were harmed. I mean, that, those are both pretty good. I'm pretty sure it might be Nazis. Oh, excuse me. Okay, what did everyone pick? What is it? Is it fruits? That's Dan's lie. Dan's dirty, dirty lie. Lots of fruits were harmed in that film. Is it critics? That was their lie. Oh, I lost a thousand points on that one. That's what I get for bragging. Lemon takes another thousand points. Is it in fact Jews? Why yes, it is the Jews. Now the good news about those Jews being the right answer is that uh, no singular person just got 8,000 points there. So my lead is safe for now. But Lemon just made it a squeaker. Let me tell you something folks. I am puckered. I am fully puckered You're about to going into this jackalope of a final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. I haven't seen that. That's one of the few Coen Brothers movies that I haven't seen. Here's your final fibbage question. So what do we have now? Miley what Miley Cyrus, Cyrus has tattooed, tattooed on, the on the inside of our upper lip. lip? Type in your lies now. Um. 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 Um, fuck. I really wish I knew pop culture better so I can make up a better lie. Um, um. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Sure. Why not? Larry Gopnik, a Midwestern physics teacher, watches his okay, life unravel over several, truth. over multiple sudden incidents. Though, through seeking meaning and answers amidst his turmoils, he seems to keep seeking. Interesting. So, what do we have here? Is it this side up? Is it her full name? Is it can't stop, won't stop, her mother's name? No regrets. A sad cat, never give up. Never gonna give you up. Is it her name or is it Marilyn? Monroe. Now, her mother's name is a great lie, if that's actually a lie. Because uh, that, that sounds like the rightest answer right, of the bunch. Everybody picked. But it's probably something stupid like can't stop, won't stop. Is it never gonna give you up? No. In fact, we just got Rick rolled pretty damned hard into giving up 3,000 points there. Her mother's name is not the answer. I just gave Dan 1,500 and suddenly I worry greatly for my lead. This side up was mine, and I'm worried less now. Is it her full name? Damn, that was their lie, and Misty Knight loses 1,500 points. Oof. Unfortunately, Meatloaf gives some points over to Time Lord. And a sad cat is in fact the truth. Nobody fell for some of these ingenious Wow. And Lemon. Lemon with the right answer. How do those points play out? You son of a bitch! You and your right answer, Lemon. Your right answer won you the game, my friend. Congratulations. Good job, Lemon. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Yay! 
That was awesome. What a great game. What a great fucking game. That was a nail biter. Right up till the very, very end. I, I got second. Fucking our new person, Meatloaf, came in third. Great job. Now, shall we play it again? This time with some new freaking players. Uh, if you were in the last one, please give everybody a chance to hop in. Although it doesn't really seem like it will be an issue. There's only 10 people in the chat. Still. Be nice. And that's my login sound. Kisty is now in. Misty Knight is, wha is back. Harambe, Dan. Two more people have entered. Neon Kitty, Woodrow. And we have one final slot. One final slot, should somebody care to fill it? And Time Lord. Welcome back, everybody. Now that we're all in this game, let's do it. Oh, wow. We have three in the audience, too. That's awesome. Good. Please get in and influence my game. And welcome to Fibbage. Four. If at any point this game makes you angry, you're doing it right. One of these days we'll get into double digits and I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. I think we can do eight players. Let's just push a couple of four player games together and uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score and you can like your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> Of course this you're watching me, Time one. Lord. You'll get I'm on the stream. You fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save now it I'm off the one. stream. Select a category. And I have to select a category. How about that category? Okay, here's your first question. <laughs> Actor Roger Moore, who played James Bond in seven films, admitted that he suffered from a crippling fear of blank, which almost cost him the role. Um, put your lies so now. what, pray tell, is James Bond afraid of? Ah! Uh, no, Milt, you spy a, an old school I sponsor our t shirt. I love this shirt. It's a very, very comfy, comfy, Hurry cozy up. shirt. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Do 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 do. Okay, take a look and find the. So, James Bond has a crippling fear of intimacy. God damn it! Heights, snakes, martinis, technology, guns, suits, wearing suits, or kissing. Now, here's the thing. Guns look like it would be the likely answer. But there are two versions of suits on the board. I do like the callbacks. I wish somebody had put in banks. If somebody had put in banks, I probably would pick it just for the sake of giving you those points because you deserve it. But so um, intimacy is really good. Is it kissing? No, that's their lie. Time Lord, wow. Starting out of the deficit already. Is it martinis? Thank you, Harambe. I do appreciate your 500 also. points. And it's also Woodrow's lie. Wow. And can you believe it? It was also No. <laughs> Fuck off. Harambe, you just spread those points. <laughs> Misty Knight got Kisty's points. And, also and so did Harambe. Wow. So many copy answers. Think alike. Was it in fact guns? And there's the truth. Excellent. Five people get a thousand points. Five people knew that James Bond is in fact afraid of his old pistol. And um, yeah, he, he yeah. That was pretty great. <laughs> martinis, martinis, heights, heights. Yeah. And Dan's the one to put intimacy. Time to pick a you got a like for me. Kisty, you have the category, my dear. Okay, here's and the we're going to go with loud. Something that I am not familiar with at all. 
12-year-old woman in Quebec was given a $148 fine because her blank was too loud. Write your lies now. Ladies and gentlemen, be ladies and gentlemen about this. Although I'm pretty sure we all know what the answer is going to be. If I don't get at least one quiff in there, I'm going to be really pissed. Okay, here are your choices. Was it radio? Was it a fart? Was her fart too loud? Was it a motorized chair? A rooster? A, ro a hearing aid? A lawnmower? An orgasm? A hip or a rocking chair? Hmm. Hmm. I see that meatloaf and also this particular answer may be related. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with... That one. Because fuck it. Alright, who picked what? Was it her rooster? No, my dear. She had a nice, nice, uh, nice handle on her cock. I believe is what we're finding. She did not, in fact, fart too loud. That was my lie. Was also... That would be really funny. It was also Misty Knight's lie. So, congratulations, Misty Knight. Jinx. Way to get some great points. Was it her radio? No, that was Kisty's lie. There's no way that it was orgasm. Was it motorized chair? No, that was Woodrow's lie. Wow! So many good lies. Was it a rocking chair? No! Get the fuck out of here, Canada. It was one of those souped up rocking chairs with the loud mufflers and the flames down the armrest. That's like and bullshit, that eh? Some of these didn't get picked. And there go the rest of the answers. But we still got some points. And unfortunately, I'm in third place. <sighs> Neon Kitty and Woodrow, I'm coming for your butts. I'm coming for your butts. You better guard them. Right, pick a category. I'm coming for them. Woodrow, please pick us a category. Yes, it's time for another installment of Diagnosis, huh? Whoa. Oh, I guess, yeah. Quebec no, would be the French side of Canada, so it would be a very weird place. Oral myiasis eh, is thanks, Queen. Yep. Diagnosed by spotting blank in one's mm. ear. Type in your Oral now. myiasis. <laughs> I am a child. I am legitimately a child. <laughs> when the first thing that comes to my mind is the dumbest wordplay ever, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I am a child, and it makes me laugh so hard. Okay, here you go. So, <laughs> oral myasis is diagnosed by spotting cum in somebody's ear that means you're fucking the wrong hole is it a worm in somebody's ear is it banks in somebody's ear nice is it fungus a bug the image of jesus maggots my asses or pencils <laughs> oh 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 that's funny that's funny yeah i imagine zach it's probably going to be something really gross was it a worm? No, I think it's gonna be worse than that. Could it be the one that I couldn't say without holding it together? Maggots was in fact the truth. I'm pretty and sure that everybody guessed that. Is... <laughs> Nobody wanted to pick my asses? Come on! Nobody liked my asses? I put my asses out there for you and nobody wanted to touch my asses. I didn't get a single dollar from my asses, okay? <laughs> Although I did get four likes from my asses. My asses get a lot of likes around here. This is round two. Welcome, and round two. Point values are doubled. <laughs> point values are doubled. And don't forget to use that Let's fucking do this thing. If you haven't already, it's gone after round two. Oh. Time to my asses. <laughs> All right, Dan, you got the Beach Boys beer, flocking, and a couple of other things that I barely okay, noticed the there. Question. 
You did, the Queen. You did get an audience like. To love was actually a rewriting of a song called "Cease to Exist," which was written by um, strangely enough, blank. Um. And now. Uh... So the Beach Boys wrote Never Learn Not to Love. What band wrote Cease to Exist, the song that it was based off of? Is it the dinosaurs? Was it the dinosaurs? Because apparently I can't talk tonight for some reason. And apparently, Time Lord okay, guessed the truth. Which one's the truth. You gotta love that. Was it written by a dead guy? <laughs> wow. Was it written by the Manson family, the Shores, Charles Manson, Elvis, the Dodos, Michael Jackson, the Who, or a young David Letterman? Hmm. Who wrote this classic song, which the Beach, Bo Beach Boys totally stole and remade into a classic hit? Whoever put the dodos, you're dumb. You're really okay, dumb. Okay, let's take a look. But I like it. Was it a young David Letterman? No, that was Harambe's line. Up next is the dodos. Of course it was. Of course it fucking was. Duh. Was it the who? No, that was Woodrow's lie, and da that was a damn good lie. Although, like, 20 years ahead of its time. Was it not Elvis? The Queen lied about the King. You know what I mean? Was it Charles fucking Manson? What? 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 Fucking Harwood. <laughs> Select a eh, 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 whatever. Whatever. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Right? Well, we ain't waiting forever. Harambe, they didn't want to wait on you. Okay, here's the you didn't choose fast enough. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the Beastie Boys are credited with coining the term blank. Write your lies now. Hey, Adam. Welcome. Glad you could join us. We're uh, enjoying some fibbage at the moment. Please feel free to join right on in. The room code there is CZCU, as I'm sure you can see. By all means. Right now, we're thinking of uh, what the Beastie Boys are credited with come up uh, with uh, coining as a term. Uh, it certainly wasn't Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Okay, Mainly because that wasn't the them that sang it. <laughs> Was it? Shambhala. Nice. That's the Wi-Fi password. Was it the mullet? Was it chill? Was it everybody? No, that was the Backstreet Boys. Come on. Was it funky? Was it intergalactic? Was it flump? Was it flutie loo? Or was it beastie? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna guess it's sabotage. Oh, that's, wow. Milt, that was a great fucking joke. That was a great joke. Let's see what everybody picked. Is it in fact Beastie? That was Woodrow's lie. But congratulations, Woodrow, for getting some points out of this. Was it Bonky? No, that was Misty Knight's lie. Holy okay, shit, Misty. I am so mad at you for stealing every single one of my points. How did nobody pick it? I'm very mad at y'all. And myself. Nobody picked Intergalactic! And that means some of I thought that would've been the best lie! Well, well. Whatever. You can't win them all. Sadly. Can't win any tonight, apparently. <laughs> I was so close last time. It's okay. All it takes is one round, as we well know. All, right, all it takes is one it. goddamn round, and uh, it all can change. Okay, here's the question. 
In 2013, a sleeping That's why it's man surprising, Dan. This game is supposed to be about surprising answers. Crashed through his roof and landed on him. Hmm. Type in your lies now. Um. Also, Kisty didn't get her lie in. Sad. Yeah, I know. I'm still stuck in that third place spot. I just, I just, I just can't break out. I can't break free. Hmm. That would be really funny if someone if someone dropped a cow on him. <laughs> well, okay, where's the Dan. Truth? Fahrenheit. I rest my case. Every scientific term is. Wow, nice, Adam. Every scientific term term is coined. That's literally how they work. Was it a jeep, a javelin, a jaguar, a meteor, a meteorite, javelin, oversized hailstone, cow, hot tub, or missile? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, what did everyone pick? Jaguar would be really funny. It's not meteorite. I'll tell you this one right now. That one was my lie. Thank you for your 2,000, 2,000 points. Is it a hot tub? No, Harambe, that's their lie. Say bye bye to your thousand points. Is it a missile? No, I feel like. I feel like it would have done more than just landed on him. Like exploded on him. Was it an oversized hailstone? That was Kitty's lie. Nice. Nice. Good job, Neon Kitty. Was it a javelin? Fuck you, Harambe. Fuck you, Harambe, and your dumb javelin. I could have swore that was right. God damn it, Zach. God. And that's it. You and Kisty can go off and be happy together, both being right in that same question. <laughs> you can just move it on out of here. Hoof it out of town. Don't sit there and milk your victory for more than it's worth. It's utterly disgraceful of you. Fibbage. Everything rides on this one. Final question. And 2%. Triple. Triple. Anybody can win it. <laughs> and now, your final fibbage question. The dinosaur, now called Megalosaurus, was originally called this, named after a human body part. Input your lies now. Ha! Ah! Nice, Adam. Did you hear about what happened when you cut off all of the cow's legs? It was ground beef. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Wow! So many people not getting their lies in in time because they're trying to think of something better. Holy okay, shit! Take a look and find the truth. Is it Dino McDino Face? Awesome. Is it Adam's Apollosaurus? <laughs> Is it Scrotum Humanum? Is it just plain Tibia? Belliosaurus? Gluteus Maximus? Megalopenis? <laughs> Iceratops? And thigh? God damn it! All of these are the best! Who picked what? Every single one of these answers deserves to win right now. Every single one of these deserves to win. Oh, that was fucking great. Woo! What a great round. Oh. Woo! Is it thigh? I don't think it's thigh. But great guess. Is it scrotum humanum? You are fucking fucking me in the goat ass. How the fuck are you gonna name a goddamn dinosaur butt? <laughs> Nobody wanted to put megalopenis? I am ashamed of myself for writing that one in. 18 likes, ya boy. Yeah, right, if I can't win, I might as well take home the cup. 
And that's another game in the bag. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Woodrow is a winner. Kissy is right behind him in second place. Misty Knight and Time Lord in, th in fourth. Good job. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going to take our first little break here, but don't you dare worry. I'm just making sure that we can split all of our games up evenly. So we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back in, I'll say, about 10 to 15 minutes. Please enjoy the music while you wait. And when we come back, we're going to have more Fibbage 2 on the way. Don't you dare go anywhere. You're watching this on Twitch.tv. My name is Tim Leftwich. We'll be right back. <laughs> 